understanding the stage of moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma, you're probably wondering what this means in terms of the cancer's stage and how it affects treatment and prognosis. Let's break it down step by step. First, it's important to understand that adenocarcinoma is a type of cancer that originates in the glandular tissue of various organs, such as the lungs, stomach, or colon. The term moderately differentiated refers to the appearance of the cancer cells under a microscope. These cells are neither very similar to normal cells nor very different. They fall somewhere in between. When we talk about the stage of cancer, we're not just talking about how the cells look, but also how far the cancer has spread. The staging system helps doctors determine the best treatment plan and predict the outcome. Adenocarcinoma is typically staged from zero to four. Here's a brief overview of each stage. Stage zero, this is also known as carcinoma in situ, where cancer cells are present but have not spread beyond the epithelial tissue. Stage one, the cancer is small, usually up to two centimeters in size, and is localized within the affected organ. Stage two, the cancer is a bit larger, up to four to five centimeters, and may have spread to nearby lymph nodes, but not beyond the organ. Stage three, the cancer has grown beyond the organ it started in, involving nearby tissues and several lymph nodes with possible metastases. Stage four, the cancer has spread to other organs and lymph nodes, often referred to as metastatic cancer. Now let's get back to moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma. This type of cancer is more aggressive than well-differentiated adenocarcinoma, but less aggressive than poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma. However, the stage of the cancer is not determined solely by the differentiation of the cells. The stage of moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma can vary. Here's how it works. If the cancer is moderately differentiated and it's small, localized, and hasn't spread to lymph nodes, it would be classified as stage one. If it has grown a bit larger or spread to nearby lymph nodes but not beyond the organ, it would be stage two. If the cancer has spread beyond the organ to nearby tissues and several lymph nodes, it would be stage three. And if it has spread to other organs and lymph nodes, it would be stage four. So the stage of moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma depends on the size of the tumor, whether it has spread to lymph nodes, and whether it has metastasized to other parts of the body. Understanding the stage is crucial because it helps doctors decide on the best treatment options and gives a clearer picture of the prognosis. For example, if the cancer is at an early stage, Treatment might involve surgery or localized therapies, whereas more advanced stages might require a combination of treatments, including chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. In summary, the stage of moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma is determined by the extent of the cancer's spread, not just the appearance of the cells. This information is vital for planning the right treatment and understanding what to expect.